Hello, Mikey. Hello, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The yeah. free man on the land in Austria. Yeah, upon Austria. <laughs> upon free man upon, upon Austria. Upon Austria, not so, in Austria. So you're officially the first free man that I've ever met. Really? Yeah. But it's, We, a, it's a global movement. It's a global movement. Everybody talks about free man yeah. and free man movement and the sovereign human movement. Yes. A lot of us know a lot about it. A lot of us think we know a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have this movement in South Africa, do you? Well, we have, but um, there is no one that officially ha can call themselves free. They, they can claim all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, of course. But no There's one can say, well, I'm a free man on the land of, so of, of South Africa. Yeah, I suppose it's due to, to a lack of uh, legal understanding. What really happened? Because the 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 base the base of the of the slavery, you know, uh, comes from Europe, mm -hmm. and it was written mostly of it was written in German. And so once it's 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 translated, then the real meaning gets lost. Mm -hmm. So most most of the English-speaking people on the planet and, and the other languages, they they cannot understand the deepness in the root of the slavery because the the root the, uh, language was German. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. And um, what I wanted to ask you is, uh, can you take me through the process, what you actually did to achieve this? Uh, first of all, I, I wrote a letter, four pa pages to the government of Austria, uh, to, the, let's call it the Prime Minister, no, Prime Minister of Austria, and some other guys. And I claim to be a human living being empathic, loving, caring, and I, I want to quit the, the kind of slavery, to call it, um, that I have to follow rules, and by following these rules, I have to commit damage. This was the, my, my point of motivation to, to get out of it. Not to be forced to, to, to do damage or harm to somebody or something. And so I wrote this letter, And of course, you said it before. I claimed to be free, mm -hmm. yeah. And so now, two years later, I'm kind of free because, first of all, I feel free. Mm -hmm. But I'm always, always uh, since then, I've <coughs> been, I've been uh, tackled by some system parts. Mm -hmm. yeah? And so the the journey is not over yet. No. And so now I I suppose that we have to to talk to uh, the bishop and further the pope. Because all we see, especially on the courts, is all ecclesiastical. So we have to go to the, to the pope and uh, solve uh, the, well, what's the name for, for Taufe? <laughs> um, yeah. Taufe? When they pour your water in your face. Uh, oh, yeah, for the christening or the, 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 christening. the baptism. Baptism, that's, yeah, that's the word, yeah. Taufe. This is the sin. The sin of the world. Mm. It's, it's the baptism. And so they, they, they think we are lost at sea. Yeah? The, the, soul, the lost souls on, on the sea. And we all have to be rescued. Yes. And we are given a birth certificate. And then the, yeah. the procedure starts running. Okay. So it's all a cult. It's a person's cult done by the uh, Catholic Church. It's interesting you said Lost at Sea. Um, <clears throat> I just saw Tom Hanks's movie, um, uh, the one that he gets stranded. Uh, 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 cast Away. Cast Away. Yeah. Just the, uh, not so a few months ago after having not seen it for years. Mm -hmm. And it made so much more of an impact on me now. Because there was a, when he comes back from being lost, he was declared dead. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't, he wasn't. No papers. Yeah. No papers. Yeah. No identity. And, and no identity. So he, they didn't know how to handle him. Yeah. And he had to go back and prove that he was a living human being to attach a piece of paper to him. Yeah. And there's a moment in the movie. To, there's a moment in the movie where his friend says to him, Hey buddy, tomorrow we bring you back to life. Because you're going to get your papers. Yeah, It's yeah, a yeah. great moment. Yeah. Shows you that the straw man actually is the living 
according to the corporation, is a living document and you're a dead person, yeah. cast away at sea. The corporation, which yeah. means the, the corpus, yeah, yeah. this is dead. Um, I'm living, so to say, the difference between identity and authenticity. You know, when yeah. you're authentic, what is the difference between identical and authentical? Mm -hmm. So when you're identical, then you are like somebody or something. You are identical. Yeah. But it's not the same. And once you're authentical, then you're the same. You are uh, sui generis. Well, you know, what you're saying fundamentally is, is the foundation of the Ubuntu philosophy. I believe that's the same. Yeah, yeah. That it, you know, under Ubuntu contributionism, you, everybody is a human being. Yeah. Living, breathing human being with inalienable rights from the Creator, an infinite soul to live life in abundance yeah. uh, to the fullest in the community of their choice as a living, breathing human being. And identity documentation will not be necessary yeah. because you have no money, no corporations, no contracts. Everything is done on a handshake because yeah. there is no money to corrupt things. So the entire system gets changed. So the entire free man on the land or the sovereign human movement will find its home in the Ubuntu contribution system. Yeah. Yeah, without exactly, I'm sure. Without having to create any unnecessary waves, because it automatically just flows into it. Yeah, that this is the harmony, the universal harmony between uh, male and female principles, because the male principle is to 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 give, and the female principle is not to take, mm. but to receive. Yeah, and this is the difference. Uh, we've been told that life is giving and taking, you know. Yeah. But that's wrong. It's absolutely it's wrong. Giving and receiving. <laughs> yes. And there's a big difference. <laughs> big difference. Yeah. And you know, it's the whole duality. You know, we 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 are forced into this duality at birth. Yeah. Um, and we don't need to live in a duality. Uh, we can we can start to walk out of the duality, and the fact that it's a journey doesn't mean it has to take a long time. It's no. just we have to start the journey. Yeah. And in I believe eternity, we. We're talking about eternity, yeah, so... Yeah, and I believe we've started the journey already. Yes. And millions of people are waking up every day. Mm -hmm. Millions of people are finding soulmates in, in this philosophy every day. And they've got more people to talk to. Yeah, we stop searching. For, for my consciousness talking is that I, 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 I stop searching for the rescue in the outside, you know, because it comes from the inside. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, I think that one one day people will stop saying that they are living human beings, searching or uh, uh, um, human beings searching for their God. Mm -hmm. yeah? But from my point, I think that the, uh, people come to the conclusion that they are God. Um, Absolutely. On his own planet. So this is. Therefore, we don't need no governments. We don't need no money, no interest on money, no jobs. Just try to find what a human race as a species would act like if there were no rules from outside. That's, a, that's obviously something I had to deal with um, in a major way in the whole Ubuntu philosophy. Mm -hmm. Because people block you on that because they yeah, can't course. imagine it, so they start throwing stones at you yeah. before they even try and process the thinking, because they just work from fear. Yeah, they're afraid. Yes. They're just afraid. Yeah. They don't even want to go there because they think you're going to take away everything they've worked for, and mm -hmm. uh, you know how dare you suggest you're going to create a world without money and without jobs? What do you mean? How am I going to buy pay things? Me. Yeah, <laughs> who's going to pay me? How am I going to buy stuff? Yeah. And, you know, are you going to pay for everything? And all that crazy questions. It's fear. Everything yeah. is driven by fear. And it's spectacular how, how this has unfolded. But you know what? The one thing I can say is that when I started this process of thinking about you know, a world without money where everybody mm -hmm. is totally sovereign and free on the land and choose where to live and who yeah. to associate with and what community to to go and settle in or be a community of your own uh, or whatever. Uh, when I started this 10 years ago in 2005 
and I started talking to people about it at dinner tables, I nearly got beaten up. Yeah. Because the fear was so strong. It was the same with me when I started talking about the free men and quitting yeah. all that stuff and leaving the system behind. And yeah, that's the fear. Yeah. And, but that's changed now. Yeah. That no, that's no longer the case. So I have seen the shift in consciousness over a 10-year period. Yeah. And I actually can't believe it's been 10 years. It, it just struck me the other day. I was still thinking, oh, I've been doing this for five years. And so, so oh, no, it's 10, it's 10 years. years. Yeah, unbelievable. It's amazing. And suddenly it's kicking in, and you can just see it. The, the, the lights are going on everywhere. Yes, all around. It's just it's a fantastic uh, time to actually see this, the recognition in people's eyes. Yes, and so so what you said before in, in the uh, presentation, in your presentation, that the people should uh, spread the word. Yeah. Uh, even if they don't understand the whole fullness and complexity no. of all, just spread spread the word. Yeah. Talk about it. Uh, things are changing. Yeah. yeah, and 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 that's that's the thing. Don't be afraid, and I think people are becoming less and less afraid to talk about it. But you, sometimes they just need a little bit of encouragement. Yeah, the pressure is always yeah. you know pressure gets gets yeah. uh, rising and rising, and so people uh, have to choose. Yeah. yeah, and and also you know when you're new to the to this philosophy and you get excited about it and you go out and you start talking to people and you get these these arrogant sort of bureaucrats that, yeah. that, that are very arrogant and, and I'll say, oh really, and they block the people in their excitement and the people don't know enough about it so they feel, okay. oh, I don't know, uh, I don't know the, the answer, I don't know how to answer that so they can be stopped very quickly mm -hmm. and, and then they get scared. Yes, it's, it looks like an error mm -hmm. and you go on with your usual day-to-day -day yeah. life. But I think uh, that, that is not happening as much, well, uh, what's nice about this is that this is why I wrote the Ubuntu book, mm -hmm. to help people not to walk into those traps. Because sometimes it's almost a trap, you know. They, they say to you, ah, so I believe uh, you're the guy that talks about a, money, a world without money. So how are you going to work this? So they yeah, lure read, you out. Read it. Yeah, and yeah. They, the easiest way. So you know what? I believe it can work, but um, read this book. Yes. <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> yeah, you can, never, you can never tell somebody what you understand. Mm. It's impossible. I can never tell you what I feel, and I can never tell you what I understand. But I understand it. And so what we have is pictures, words, sentences, books, presentations, to describe what we understand. Mm. Because the understanding is, yeah, is full. Yeah. For, from my point of view, uh, I understand that the system is fiction, uh, that mankind is enslaved, and so what are you going to do once you recognize what's, well, what's been done? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? How you react? Yeah. Demonstrations? Wars? What? what? So, mm -hmm. the next solution is the peaceful <coughs> non-compliance. Peaceful non-compliance and choosing another path. Yes. Just say, you know what? You're really nice guys, but we're not going to use your money anymore. We're going to go this way. Who are you, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Who gave you this contract for... for uh, uh, doing all the money on the world, mm -hmm. for printing all the money. Uh, I don't know any one of these guys. And I, I pay interest on, on money, and so they get a, a commission that I'm alive. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't understand that I, uh, no, <coughs> I don't allow it. I've been allowing it for, that I allowed it for 41 years, and I didn't know it. But once you know it, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Stand up to the system and say, system, sorry, uh, I have some questions, and before they, before they are, uh, if they are not answered, before that I pay no taxes, <coughs> and I, <coughs> I, I don't comply. That's the finest way. We don't need no demonstrations and, and uh, petitions and referendums and all these things because we don't even know to whom we we go once we start a, a petition or a demonstration. Because it's just rumoring, you know, it's the only rumoring. The real powers, where are they? You have a government in South Africa, we have a government in Austria, but who are the powers? Well, what's yeah. becoming evident now. Yeah, it's becoming <coughs> evident. <coughs> That's, the powers are not the governments, <laughs> <laughs> are not the presidents. Yeah. And we think the powers are the bankers. But I think there's actually another power behind them. Yeah, as I said, yeah. uh, I, found, <coughs> I found one of the, the slave powers is the Pope. 
bei der, der Canonical, äh, kanonisches Recht, yeah. Canonical Right, yeah. Civil, uh, yeah. Yeah. and uh, further on, we don't know. No. As you talk about Anunnaki and, and yeah. all these. Well, look, uh, Karen Hudes, this yeah. uh, this uh, ex World Bank um, uh, senior uh, manager at the yeah. World Bank. I mean, she started talking now about the fact that there were people at the highest level of the, of the banking control that are not human. Mm. I mean, that is insane for yeah. a banker yeah. to start talking about there are non-humans that are running the global behind the global banking control, that, that's yeah. serious. So what kind of consciousness are we talking about? Yeah. We don't know. And, and yeah, we don't know. So if, if it's not here, then it plays no role in our lives. In our so, lives, money, success, jobs, <coughs> family, uh, luck, love, all these, I think this is really happening in our lives. And, and we have to, to get these back. And then we maybe we meet all these other powers once, but as long as they are not here, they they shouldn't play a role, because we are occupied in our brains once we search for all these uh, bad guys out there. Yeah, look, we, we the the entire system has been structured to keep us busy, yeah, occupied, preoccupied. So we're so Occupation. busy, yes, we're busy with survival that we don't think about life and reality. Yeah, that's why it's called busyness. <laughs> yeah, you know, business. It's like it's it's so Busy. obvious it's a trap mm -hmm. and busyness is a corporation yeah. right so what you know clearly we're moving in 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 a direction away from that people are waking up so what is the message that we're gonna give the people out there today um <clears throat> yes i wanted to ask you what what is your plans when you you run for presidency in uh south africa how how probable is it for you how how big are your chances well, it's really uh, the political party is running for seats in parliament. Okay. And in South Africa, whichever party wins, elects the president. Mm -hmm. So if our party had to win, then by default, I'd become the president. Yeah, cool. So the fact, yeah, I don't think we're going to win, but we might take people by surprise. Yeah. Fair. Even if we get one seat in parliament, will already be a surprise. Yes. Nobody expects that. So, and I think we have a very good chance at this stage. Yeah, already. so you've got a big audience. Yeah. What would you do <coughs> if you uh, be president of South Africa? Well, it's... You close it's, down South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> well, we close down the Reserve Bank. Yeah. So first stop, you know. <laughs> yeah, first stop, um, close down the, the bank. Close down all the, the, the mining corporations that are, or, or stop foreign ownership of South African mineral rights. Mm -hmm. That's critical. Yeah stop foreign ownership and control of the, the provision of energy, electricity, to the South African people, because the energy provider belongs to the people. It's been paid for by people's taxes many times Water, over. energy, all these all that belongs stuff. to the people. Yeah. And the pharmaceutical companies, Monsanto, get Monsanto out, support the farmers where you can. Yeah. So we've got a, a plan of action. Yeah. Uh, so the real truth movement. Absolutely. Real, I would do the same in Austria. Yeah. yeah. It's the obvious stuff. You know, yeah. it's obvious to you and I. Yeah. It's not obvious to politicians. They don't even know that they should be thinking about those things. Yeah, but I'll, uh, sometimes I see them in television, you know, and I see what, what kind of water they drink. Yeah. And the water they drink, I know, is Römerquelle in Austria is full of fluoride. Yeah. <laughs> so once, once the politicians and drink fluoridated water... And it's a Coca-Cola product. It's I a Coca-Cola product, yeah, yes. Exactly, yeah. So uh, yeah, you can suppose that any water in any Coca-Cola brand mm. is uh, full of fluoride. So imagine if a government starts to go out with a government information campaign mm. yeah. about fluoride in water, yes. about aspartame in soft drinks, glutamate, and, and glutamate, uh, sodium benzoate, and all of these chemtrails. If, if a government yeah. starts to put out information, that's what we should do on television on to television. its people to all say, day long. yeah, you know, how quickly you'll yeah. change your consciousness. Just remember how uh, it, uh, it 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 lasted, I think, three hours. And anybody on the planet knew about 9-11? Yes. Three hours. Mm -hmm. So we don't need weeks or months to change no. it. It's just... It's going to happen overnight. The information, and we have all the tools, the broadcast companies, to change the consciousness, in, if you want, in one day. Mm -hmm. And also, remember, once you have a, a society where 
the banks create money for the people by the people, which is what we propose yeah. with the Ubuntu Party. That's actually our political statement. Uh, create a people's bank that issues money, tax-free, industry, money for the people, by the people. Cool. To create unimaginable public works yeah. and 100% employment as the first stop, the first breaking of the private central bank mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. To create, give people, release them from the the, the slavery and the yes. oppression and the misery, the stress of survival. Yeah. So there's no more stress. They can actually first time ever in their breathe. lives yeah. breathe and yeah. feel that they don't have to do anything and if they're sick that they'll be taken care of and they don't have to have and medical it insurance cost any money and because it's already paid it's already paid yeah. so uh, and and you know this is really our point of departure and how quickly things change and yeah. this means that the media will change overnight no longer promoting the the agenda mm. The Illuminati agenda. Everything changes. The freedom agenda. Upside down, yeah. yeah. Upside down. So the message, I guess, uh, to finish off here, message to the people of Austria, South Africa, and the rest of the world. Uh, Ubuntu. <laughs> yes. Come together. Yes. Yeah, get together, come together. Um, lose your fears, uh, because we're all the same. Uh, and we all, all the differences um, had been... Um, implemented artificially mm -hmm. it's not it's not nature no uh, and it doesn't matter what it, what what the people think they are because we shouldn't think about who we are we shouldn't think about what we are we should just be mm -hmm. just as um, my example is always a, a rabbit you know does a rabbit know if he's a rabbit <laughs> and how to do as a rabbit he is a rabbit yeah even without knowing. Yeah. He's just doing rabbit. Yeah. He's rabbiting. And so we should... Become uh, human again. Humaning. Humaning. Without thinking of what this is and what it means and what it... Just yeah. be it. We don't know how to be. I am who I am because I say so. I am that I am. I am. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be. Yeah. <laughs> and also yeah. just, uh, you know, for the people that are relatively new to this, that are looking for answers, just to remind them that, you know, the... The countries belong to the people. They don't belong to the government. Yeah. They don't belong to the corporations. They belong to the people. Yeah. And the it's about the people. Are our employees. Yes. Uh, we, and not the other way around. We go to the voting polls to vote for people that are supposed to deliver on our needs. Yes. And they've turned the whole thing around. Mm -hmm. So just think about this. It's very obvious what's happened here. Yeah. Take back the countries from the governments and the corporations that have stolen our countries from us. Receive back. Receive back. <laughs> Receive back. Receive back. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Turn, turn the tables and <clears throat> get, get off the personnel into the owner. Yeah. We are the owners of our governments. Yes. Of if we, and Earth owns us. <laughs> so we can never well, own the Earth. We're the children of the planet. Earth owns us yeah. and we own our system. And we have to, to clean up the order again. Yeah. So that's Big it. Big times ahead. So be it. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, really nice having you in Austria. Lovely being here, yeah. Joe. Yeah, lovely meeting Ho you. And Hope to see you and, and again and, and very, very soon. And keep inspiring the people in Austria. And yeah. uh, I'll come visit us in South Africa and hopefully we'll show you what we're doing. Yeah. Mm. I think South Africa is a nice place. It sure is. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Okay. So, see you all next time, world. Bye-bye. Adios, amigos. <laughs>